Hey, how's it going guys? Yes, we are here with another video. It's a little bit shaky because I'm using my um, uh, my phone camera, but what the hey. I just wanted to show you a couple of things because, you know... <sighs> so, um, you know, obviously I, I love cycling, so I got my helmet on because I just come back from a little cycle. Uh, seven, just over seven miles, uh, which was uh, pretty cool. Uh... So let me just show you guys this thing. So this is obviously my bike. Whoa, almost fell. Uh, so yeah, I've been using this since last year. Uh, fucking love this bike. Uh, I hadn't been using it on the road for the past since November um, 2020, just because I fell off too many times and came off on a pretty bad hill. So I was like, yeah, I'm hanging the road up for a bit back on doing my usual route but i didn't just want to show you that also recently purchased this garmin uh computer which you know what it, it picks up everything i've got the sensors on it i need to get heart rate monitor just so it can sense be a little bit more sensitive and like but like read my calories and all that kind of stuff i'm just gonna check my watch yeah so this is one thing i wanted to show you guys not the plane but the car check it out it's a mark one golf a cab cabrio which it currently is not a christmas cabrio it was originally white as well this is a more of a yellowish white <sighs> yeah so been working on this for the part since i think february end of feb uh beginning of march and it's had a full respray in here uh we've got wider arches which uh, in the car, you guys saw it before. So those are the uh, wider flares. Problems with the car. There was a lot of rust on all the arches. The engine wouldn't turn over, so we put new fuel. I put one fuel injector in, or two fuel injectors, and changed all the fuel lines. Uh, so we're running, obviously, the, the original engine, which is a 1.8 GTI engine, which potentially, if it dies, then I'll go 1.8 turbo. Uh, like the one that's in my TT swap it up for something a bit more juicier make the car a little bit quicker interior all has uh, been taken out just due to the fact that we just wanted to clear everything up before we sprayed it and stuff and plus it, the whole car was like ice there was ice in the bottom if you guys didn't know in March we had like really cold um, really cold um, days and water got into the car and uh, froze uh, and then it froze over March time or February uh, so yeah we had to get all that out take all the water out I spent like two or three days doing that uh, with my this, this is a project between me and my dad so we're both doing it there was a few bits that there was there's quite a lot of rust on it I did welding in the boot I sprayed like the bonnet the inside of the bonnet um, I didn't really, to be honest, um, I think in maybe this year, at the end of this year, or maybe at the end of next year, um, I might buy another classic, like a Beetle or something, and restore that myself. So that'll be pretty fun. So that's, that's one thing I want to do. But uh, also, obviously, the roof is gone. <laughs> and we have a spare one here, which we bought. Um, and that was... Uh, that's because the, the original completely uh, fucked. But this is another bike I purchased recently um of facebook marketplace i just want to let you guys know that if you're buying stuff on facebook marketplace please check because i i to be honest i i didn't really do my checks when i was buying the bike uh just just due to i was sort of excited to get the bike because i wanted to get back on the road uh and i ended up buying a bike that had a fat dent in the um in the frames i'll show you where it's been repaired so you guys can probably tell there's a slight curve to this but there was a, there's a massive dent here which uh we tried to knock out as much as possible and then we just filled in whatever and then i sprayed it um so that was a nightmare and my original bike that i was using last year is behind uh so yeah like i try my best to repair it uh and and it's a nice bike it's got disc brakes hydraulic disc brakes um internal tubing you know like nothing comes only 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 one comes underneath or two comes underneath but that's that's literally literally about it um 
yeah and it runs well it's got nice wheels which potentially i put on my bike which is over here um i don't know i just come back from that cycle as i mentioned before um and, and it was a good session i don't know how much calories i burnt that's what i mainly want to do is burn calories when i'm cycling because I, I think i feel that that's a good way to sort of gauge how much fitness you're getting out of your cycle so <sighs> last year when i was cycling on the road i was doing about six and a half miles uh doing like the same route but this time i just go like when i get home i literally just go around the corner and then come back up and then come back to my garage so i can park on my bike um like you know man i need to get a haircut get a beard trim i'll be doing that next week um so yeah it'll be it'll be pretty fun uh a couple of months why is my watch talking? <laughs> uh, but I think, yeah, it'll be a bit fun in the next couple of weeks um, when it comes to this. I'd, we're just literally putting the car back together. Uh, and I kind of want to, like, the TT, my TT, I've not lost interest in it or lost hope in it. I've just not been as motivated to do anything to it because it's, it's the way I want it to look. Um, but however... There's another car on the horizons that I want, um, which is the um, 350Z. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm a huge, I'm a huge 350Z person. I love my my Zs. You know, I, I, I was I was close to buying a uh, 300ZX, which um, I wish I did buy because those those cars are going up, and if I held on to it, um, I could have could have had some serious money. Uh, but also, I've been looking at if I sell my TT, which potentially I will, um, I'll get a Fiat, I mean not Fiat, an A-Bar 500, which is the Fiat 500, but with a juiced out engine, 160 brake, you know, um, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not really interested in the horsepower on that car, I'm mainly interested in, it's a sporty car, it's small, and it can do good miles per gallon. That's all, that's all I care about with that. But I'm buying it because it's a sporty car. Because uh, there's no point. There's no point buying a car that that's not not sporty. Because that's what I sort of want to go for. And um, yeah, I, I actually really do like that car, and I can't wait for it to can't wait to get the 350Z. I think I think that'll be really fun, especially when it comes to drifting. So I've been drifting out once. I haven't drifted myself, um, and. After that first time, I fell in love with it. So I was like, yo, I need to get a rear-wheel drive car. So 350Z is, is is like my one and only car sort of thing or my favorite car. Uh, it's, it's my it's my dream car, but my dream affordable car. A car that you can afford, right? At the age of 27, 28. Um, whereas like a Lamborghini, which is actually my sort of like dream car, Merchilago, um, that is literally my full-time proper proper uh, dream car you know affordable dream cars is like audi r8 you know I, I would i would love to get an audi r8 but i don't think i would i'd have an audi r8 here if i moved to the states or canada then yeah i would get an audi r8 um but yeah i'm gonna do another video a full-on video where I, with the, with my actual camera and i'll talk to you guys about my thoughts and stuff on what i want to do next and sort of my ideas on what what i want for the future uh but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next one peace